84, he says he acted to restore public confidence. The uh, reputation of this county and the judicial system was being trashed. The allegations surfaced a year and a half ago against Judge Teresa Brennan that she lied about having an affair with state police detective Sean Furlong. You did it or you didn't? Furlong was the lead investigator in a murder case and interrogated prime suspect Jerome Kowalski. Kowalski would be convicted of a double murder and is doing life in prison without parole. Judge Brennan presided over his trial. She said at the time she was only friends with Furlong. Furlong and Brennan were later implicated through hundreds of cell phone calls they had made to each other before, during, and after the trial. Did he commit perjury? Did he commit obstruction of justice? I, I think that he would have reason to talk to an attorney. Many believe Kowalski deserves a new trial. Kowalski deserve a new trial? I think he does. After Judge Burris requested the grand jury, the Judicial Tenure Commission then issued this complaint with the same detailed allegations. Judge Brennan has not responded. The JTC can only suspend or remove Brennan. They cannot charge her with any crimes. In May of last year, the state police raided Judge Brennan's office and home and took her computers. That's sealed and secret. I tried to get access to it. Judge Burris says Attorney General Bill Schutte should have acted months ago, as he did in the Michigan State Larry Nasser investigation. I don't want to get into the politics of it, but I think a special prosecutor should have been appointed in this case a long, long time ago. And Judge Brennan remains off the bench, but still getting paid. She's getting her salary, plus her pension, plus her benefits, uh, until this is resolved. Now, he's not happy about that. I can tell you one Livingston County judge approved the citizens grand jury, but then the chief judge disqualified all of the judges. So Judge Burris has taken it to the state court of appeals. Get this, he had his first case up there in the 1960s. Now, the people he said who failed to do the job, the prosecutor tells me today he's still considering whether Kowalski should get a new trial. That's still under review. The state attorney general said in a statement last week he's still reviewing all of this with the state police. Live in Detroit, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Well, Jim, sounds like still a lot to work through. I know you'll continue to follow it. Thank you so much for the live report.